Shall I start? Okay. Sada Shiv Samarambha Chankara Charya Madhyama Asmada Charya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam Shruti Smriti Purana Nam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavad Pada Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhasha Kritau Vande Bhagavan Tau Punaf Puna Sahana Vavatu Sahano Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahai Tejasvina Vadhita Mastu Ma Vidvisha Vahai O Shanti 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 uh, in the second line, it is Saha Nau. Saha Nau Vunaktu. And also in the previous verse, Punah, uh, Punah, the Visarga has to be chanted. So it will go Punah, Punah. Right. You can chant 14 and 15. Yes. Patras parshas tu kaunteya Chitoshna sukha dukha daha Agama pai no nityaha Tamstitikshasvabharata Yam hina vyatha yante te Purusham purushar shaba Samadukha sukham diram So mritatvaya kalpate So Yam hina vyatha yante te Yam hina vyatha yante te Vyathayan Vyathayan Te 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 Okay Te te Do the line again Yam hina vyathayan Yan te te Can you follow me? Okay. Yam hina vyatha yan te te. Yam hina vyatha yan te te. Purusham purushar shabha. Purusham purushar shabha. Samadoh khaso kham dhiram. Samadoh. Khasu kham dhiram Somratatvaya kalpate Somratatvaya kalpate Do the whole verse. Yam hi navyatha yen te te Purusham purushar shabha Samadu Khasukham dhiram So mritatvaya kalpate Is mritatyaya or mritatvaya? 
मृतत्वाय मृतत्वाय कल्पते नेक्स्ट टाइम ऑन वर्ड्स आई हैव आई थिंक आई विल डू दैट आई विल फर्स्ट चैंट बिकॉज़ देयर कैन बी अ रॉन्ग संस्कार बाय रिपीटेटिवनेस ऑन योर ओन ओके इट्स बेटर दैट आई चैंट फर्स्ट एज बेस्ट एज वन कैन फॉलो इट एवरीवन दिस विल नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स अप्लाई फॉर एवरीवन so that the hearing will have a sound and then you practice that okay once a wrong uh, impression forms and to correct that is a little more effort than right from the beginning get the right thing right okay so we'll do that from next time so great thank you so much so here we have started now already bhagwan uvacha from the 11th verse the actual geeta has started and as we said so far the topic has been that arjuna believed himself to have knowledge of dharmas to some extent but he was confused at that moment of what he wanted to do what he should be doing with reference to that to shake his fall to shake him up to lift him up bhagwan started by telling him that though you appear to be a wise person sound like a wise person who knows but the sign of wisdom is that there is no grief 11th verse with reference to what is called life anything happens in life so a wise person is one who is prepared <coughs> and receives life the way it is unfolding has the values in place knowledge in place that can be according to gradation of knowledge that each one has and conducts doing what ought to be doing spends life like that so sign of wisdom in this context bhagwan says who is a wise person jis jo janta hai zindagi ka gyan hai jisko zindagi ki sachai ka jisko gyan hai वो होता है पंडित दैट वन इज अ पंडित अच्छा पंडित डजन ग्रीव इधर फॉर द लिविंग और फॉर दोज हु हैव लिव्ड ऑलरेडी ट्वेल्थ एंड थर्टींथ वर्स ही गिव्स आत्मा दृष्टिया अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ आत्मा आत्मा बींग योर ओन स्वरूपम योर ओन नेचर from that standpoint he says atma being nitya ever there it is not possible to grieve for something which is ever there it has never gone so twelfth word he said we are always there atma is always there to say that he gives 13th verse as an example that just as in a life span we go through different stages boyhood youth middle age old age and death in the same way dehantara praptihi when this body dies then we get a new body exactly as effortlessly painlessly as the stages that we see in our life now we don't register the changes the ever present me seems to be untouched by all the changes that happen at the level of the body and one's own feelings and thoughts also so the 13th verse that 12th and 13th are giving from atma drishti there is no reason to grieve 14th and 15th verse he is saying from anatma drishti which is vyavharik drishti 
laukik drishti from the standpoint of even if you are a gyani you do not have atma vidya and you are identified with body and its layers even from that standpoint there is no reason to grieve because the nature of things that is called life uska swabhav hi hai ki it changes it has to undergo change so what changes cannot be nityam it will be anitya so anatma drishti everything that is here seen in the world experienced by us all of it is subject to constant change that's its nature so with reference to this arjuna obviously felt i am not grieving for atma i am grieving for these people who will go away from my side once there is war they will die so my relations will get cut they will end that is the cause of my grief important we said the cause of grief is never actually in the outside realm the cause of grief is felt dependency of the happiness born from a contact which is senses based so is a relation indriya janak yes because mama is there my people that my has got associated only because of i me so relational relational level at the level of relations what is to be expected what should one be ready for at the level of relations if one has found happiness in relations what is one to be ready for here bhagwan says be ready for a change that will incorporate in a relation that will inevitably happen in a relation any relation you cannot have the nitya sukham or nitya dukham from a relation from the world you cannot have nitya sukh or nitya dukh which means there is only sukh 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 or there is only dukh 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 not possible therefore what is supposed to be a healthy outlook a mindset an attitude for one who has this knowledge and a readiness along with it preparedness of the flow of life which is only based upon changing experiences such an individual looks forward looks ahead to life as such as it's presenting because they understand that there are changes that happen which are not going to be according to one's preference they will not be according to one's desires the changes will happen which may not will not be individual centric according to me there will be changes that will happen which will be something that i may not even like at all i'm not they are not desirable to any such outcome of a sensory contact firstly 
व्यवहारिक लाइफ प्री सपोजेस माई आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद एन इंडिविजुअलिटी ऑफ माई ओन सेल्फ दैट इंडिविजुअलिटी प्री सपोजेस माई आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द बॉडी माई नेम एंड फॉर्म प्री सपोजिंग माई इंडिविजुअलिटी एंड माई आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द बॉडी माई व्यवहारिक लाइफ स्टार्ट इनएविटेबली वेर the attitude towards it he says is since they are understand at the first level <clears throat> that all experiences that we identify and conclude as sukh or dukh mujhe priya hue ya apriya hue mujhe acche lage ya nahi lage i liked them or i did not like them i got my enjoyment or did not get my enjoyment all experiences end in my conclusion whether they were beneficial giving me happiness or not and indriya ka apna vyavhar chalta hai so the minute i wake up even if you were asleep <coughs> some of us if we have an alarm to get up If you're fast asleep, you don't hear the alarm. Someone else hears it. Aapki indriya, awaz to gayi, kaan to khula hai. Ears are open. The alarm bell must have entered the ear. But you were not connected to that perception. because you are not connected to your individuality you are not connected to your body so even if it entered nothing happened to you the one who was connected already to the individuality to the sense of i kachi neend mein woke up by the sound of the alarm bell इंद्रिय अपने विषय के साथ जुड़ी ही रहती है अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सेंसेस आर ऑलवेज रिपोर्टिंग देर रिस्पेक्टिव सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट They are in contact. Matra sparsha. They contact each other. Only when the contact is established, is there a perception of sound, sight, taste, touch, smell. That perception which triggered by the contact of the sense and its object. was registered in the mind kaan ne suna sound ko in the fourth chapter it is given in the context of yagnyas in the fire of hearing sound has been registered details there when the साउंड एंटर्ड आवाज आई परसेप्शन जागृत हुआ एज इफ इट एल्यूमेंट आई हर्ट यू से मैंने सुना दट मैंने सुना परसेप्शन फॉर अस फर्दर कंक्लूजन इज अच्छा लगा कि नहीं लगा very naturally we operate on it when you are involved with it the senses are giving you knowledge and you are constantly judging the perceptions whether you like them you don't like them the perceptions are getting illumined in the mind 
and that mind is illumined by what is the illumination in the mind itself because so many times supposing just now even if i'm talking you're very attentive but someone calls you and your mind is taken away by that person calling you what will happen the my sound is entering your ear but your mind has left from here is hearing another person or seeing something else the minute your mind shifted to that perception this perception is not heard is that correct the minute mind is away this is also not heard that means is mind really holding the seat of knowledge of awareness of illumination because if it was then whether my mind is i cannot say my mind will go here or there anything falling in it should be illumined where is the illumination of the perception i am hearing it's knowledge based i am listening not the words the listening itself i am listening what is that gyan hai ye i am listening is now knowledge what i am listening is secondary what listening ka object hai what i am listening but that i am listening this knowledge what is illumining it wo kya awareness hai kya consciousness hai kya chit hai kya shabd hai wo kya kahoge usko in the presence of which or because of which due to which the knowledge has happened that i am listening i am seeing i am smelling that in the presence of which this happens ever there nityatma remains changelessly available in the light of which no perception can be ever present forever they will come and they will go all perceptions which presuppose my individuality will come and will go therefore he said who is the one who actually is a wise person with reference to this in feeable law you cannot negate this who is a, a wise person what will be that wise person's attitude be what will that wise person consider perceptions as whose nature is to come and go what will be such a person's handling of the perception us perception mein jo conclusion hai ये अच्छा लगा ये अच्छा नहीं लगा जो ये ज्ञानी रिलेटिव जो ये जानता नहीं है हमको अच्छा लगा नहीं लगा वी लिव आर लाइफ ऑन दैट दीज आर कंक्लूजन इन एवरी परसेप्शन एंड वी हैव गॉट सो यूज टू इट वी हैव गॉट सो हैबिचुएटेड टू इट दैट वी डोंट इवन स्टैंड अ पार्ट फ्रॉम इट मच वी डोंट रजिस्टर इट we operate on what we like and what we don't like what is not pleasant we turn it we run away from it without thinking for a person who understands ki ye to aate jaate rehte hain that one how will he handle this conclusion that automatically forms oh isse to mujhe sukh milta hai i get happiness here oh this is seat of sorrow i am so in in the presence of that person i get so depressed i don't like the person at all 
बिकॉज आई गेट ऑल नेगेटिव इन द पर्सन प्रेजेंस अच्छा खासा आई एम लाफिंग एंड बींग चेयरफुल बट वेन दैट पर्सन स्टार्ट टॉकिंग इज सो फुल ऑफ दम सेल्स एंड देर देर एवरीथिंग अबाउट लाइफ देर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज इफ देर द मोस्ट डिप्राइव पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड एंड देन यू नो आई ऑल्सो so i would rather not meet the person i'd rather stay away you know it, it it doesn't make it affects me the minute i say it affects me where have i identified with it affects me naturally what have i identified with and look at the irony the, for the other person if you uplift their spirits if you manage to bring more cheer to them in your in your presence for them who are you an ex- you are a likable perception or a likable perception but for you what are they unlikable unlike now the self conclusion that we are constantly forming in experiences and the same both of us the same conversation for one person is unpleasant for another person is pleasant is dependent on what your own inner state of mind so the same sense contact if your inner state of mind is different at different times can give you a different experience that conclusion this gives me happiness next time is it going to be the same it could be reversed you are the one who is dumped down and they are lifting you there is no certainty what will the wise shastra says agar ye grahan ho ja ho gaya hai ki this plane of existence which presupposes my individuality as mr miss mrs shreeman shreemati etc etc boy girl youth or if my individuality is presupposing my experience in this realm then the wise person understands the attitude can only be not to draw a conclusiveness about any experience because it can change jo aaj acha lag raha hai kal zaruri nahi ki acha lage जो आज अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है कि जरूरी नहीं कि कल अच्छा ना लगे सो विद रेफरेंस टू समथिंग दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली अ सब्जेक्ट टू चेंज ई सेट बिकॉज दे आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम सेंस कॉन्टैक्ट एंड हैव द नेचर ऑफ आ गमा अ पाई ना अ वाइज वन वुड ओनली पैर अप the change bear up change means do not let the change affect in a manner that neither is there so much harsh nor is there too much vishad a self conclusion is avoided is not formed you liked it it ended next fresh now it is a fresh perception fresh assessment fresh judgment like it wonderful didn't like it etc so tan stitikshaswa you bear it you bear it o oh, bharata have titiksha and titiksha means an endurance which is not conditioned or not um, sublined you know what is that called um, put a rider along with it there's no attached condition to it titiksha means 
as is let's just put up with it but this pratiksha that he puts up with so two verses atma drishti correct don't allow your highs and lows to affect your wisdom to atma drishti to anatma drishti acha person Fifteenth verse, he can uh, comes to yam hina vyatha yantiyate. Ah, that's what we started yesterday. Yam hina vyatha yantiyate, vyatha yanti. He says, such a person who is ready to bear up the changes happily, comfortably, without having. mental riders riders was the word i was looking at without having mental riders acha one is a dhiraha he is now dhimantam the one who has buddhi he bears up with knowledge with understanding he is a dhiraha purushaha so what he said in the 11th verse you talk you don't you are not a panditaha you are not a wise person if you carefully look at the flow of the verses in all four verses 12 13 14 15 bhagwan is saying who is a wise person the sign of wisdom if you are established in atma vidya then in fact you cannot stand to have the tiksha if you do not have wisdom with you the tiksha that is why people who bear without knowledge get suppressed get frustrated very soon because there is no wisdom they are just bearing for some superficial reason they are just bearing because maybe it is good for the family maybe but heart to heart you don't want to bear you don't have the buddhi supporting your forbearance your forbearance must be supported by your buddhi by your understanding right understanding so dhiraha purushaha is one who is sama dukha sukham when there is something that has a change has happened in the world and it is beneficial for you it has brought a good time it will last for some time that good time sama the mind is not so excited one of the commentators said the word caught in the word tejit you get excited when something nice happens and vyavharikali excitement is a very happy happy such a happy state of mind happy go lucky type of uttejit rehna hamesha excited rehna something nice has happened and it's so exciting people start jumping and screaming no when something has become favorable to them arjuna has fallen also when you are depressed body is showing symptoms when there's such an excitement also the body shows symptoms so there's jumping and screaming and you know excitement and etc etc na harsh hota hai you're not flowing away with that sensation with that perception tama as has the sukh come when it changes its side and it's beginning to wane away and a little difficult time is coming may not be the current but just a little difficult time dukham is coming time has changed situation has changed your responses are changing your mind has changed but your self conclusion that i am dukhi does not form i am sukhi doesn't form i am dukhi doesn't form 
I'm at yeah that conclusion that took ke karan oh everything's gone into low mode such vishad rahitam harsh vishad rahitam yeah ashikara says sama dukha sukham underlined word blue is in the verse sukha prapti dukha prapti when you get sukha prapti what will happen harsh when you get dukha prapti natural instinct would be natural process of any reaction of any person would be vishad but sama dukha sukham means when sukha dukha prapti harsh vishad rahitam you are free of harsha and vishad you are free of harsh too much excitement and vishad acha dhiraha the one who knows na vyathayanti na chalayanti does not get flustered does not get flustered easily why because nitya atma darshanat the reason why he doesn't get is in the previous verse he said have titiksha for things that have to change now in this verse he is saying the one who has the tiksha what is the outcome of such a person uska gain kya hai what do you get out of it because normally what do people say people say why should i be bearing everything what will i get out of it i only get what is it carpet carpet doormat i become the doormat people walk over me people take me for for a ride people use me people blah 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 correct vyavharikally avoid all whatever you can avoid nobody is saying you can't resist all that but by titiksha if you understand the value of titiksha why if there is buddhi with it then you won't have such feelings if buddhi supports it and what is the support what is the gain of titiksha is the tiksha meant only to handle those situations that are changing the one who develops like yesterday i was saying you have to develop the tiksha the one who develops the tiksha the gain is dhiraha becomes dhira from one standpoint that dhira has been taken as having dhairya having steadfastness in english you can say has inner maturity mental maturity but bhagwan says dhimantam he is the one who has knowledge so advantage why should i have titiksha why should i build titiksha there was a story long ago when spirituality was a little more stricter and students had to go through a life of sadhana let's say and guru had the right to enforce it on the student in the ashram life when they study the shastra there was a guru rishikesh this is a story handed down so don't ask names a guru in rishikesh they had a cook in the ashram and the cook was a very ill tempered person so guru had shishya a group of students very dedicated and uh, living full time in the ashram and uh, really respected guru because he was giving them the ultimate gyan this cook who was ill tempered didn't care for the guru at all not only didn't care he treated him like a nobody and that was a huge contrast between how the students were treating the guru and how the cook was treating the guru 
and he would have a loose tongue with guru also so supposing guru came late for or whatever he would lash out irrespective of who it was so sometimes the students got very upset they would get hurt they would get disturbed and they decided they should go ask the guru why are we keeping him we are the one who's employed him no we can always find another cook so let's relieve him and find another person who's more in tune to our ashram life and more has seva bhav etc the guru dismissed it right out so the students said okay if you don't want to do anything one of them was very very deeply affected said i will go and tell him i will i will put him in his place guru said no no need so that day evening satsang was tama dukha sukham what is the agama apaina what is the dwandva there in guru's life what was the dwandva sheeta ushna like dwandva that the guru was experiencing respect from the students and disrespect from the cook correct mana apamana so the satsang were went on for hours it seems where the guru said he is the only person who is helping me practice tamatvam between mana and apamana because left to all of you i will only have one experience and then my mind will get deluded i deserve man i am to be respected i deserve honor he is only person who keeps me in my place rightful place and it turned out to be such an education because sama dukha sukham thiram what is the titiksha here bearing it not reacting or not like there's no complaint he's okay he's neutral towards it towards what towards the disrespect he's getting he's he has no extreme reactions to it he's not is saying it, i will go and is react that back. all is that all that constitutes the tiksha here and he's willing to bear it he doesn't want to let the cook go okay is that all that's pratiksha the extra <laughs> affection he is receiving from the students absolutely but getting over it what is pratiksha the, the mind is bound to like what is favorable asaan rahega us mind ko unke sath judna kyunki he is being honored there bahut asaan hoga mind ko wahan judna but what is he uh, he is bearing he is putting up samata not to get to extreme with the man not to flow away with the apman it is only the light of apman that he can bring his man also into place the very subtle point if there was no apman at all how would he balance his manata because there were 15 people supposing who is putting them up putting him up putting him yeah 50 more than those students plus there must be a lot of devotees i'm sure outside he is respectable guru there is only one person who's allowing him to have the tiksha also for that natural bahav he has to be watchful that i don't get carried away by this because the minute he starts his mind takes away with the notion that he is respectable what will happen to the state of mind in time 
we'll get used to so much reverence that koi regular Ahaka. normal baat bhi karega to unko pasand nahi aayega because he's gotten used to so much reverence to so, ahankar will set in you he will not resist which ahankar which type of ahankar will it be oh. ego main 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 which kind mom exactly so it takes self opinion because the mind will get the justification that see the society puts me up they believe that i am valuable so what kind of an ahankara will it is exactly like arjuna's mind the justification came here it will be so difficult to balance that mind at another point because the justification may step in after all people respect him and it will it difficult to contradict that because it's a fact that he is respectable but this kind of realization only a wise man can have anyone with a study of the shastra is supposed to have supposed to have we all are okay. supposed to be here onwards now you are also as much a knowledgeable person as anybody else okay it is only our readiness to understand the uh, the implication of these values in our life how much are we ready to understand yes what is the use of pratiksha uska fayda kya hai if anybody concludes that pratiksha makes some a poor me at another point of time and i can indulge in self pity i can indulge in self wailing i after all i am the one or i can indulge in me being a oh uh, that what is that ego which is uh, uh, complex inferiority priority kind of whatever you know we all get the idea i won't spend much time on it the fact is if my titiksha is concluding it as making me feel better than the other then i am in a worser position than before a person who doesn't have didiksha and lashes out and say the at least they are instinctively prakritically prakrit swabhav se jee rahe hain aap sahan karke agar usko ya to andar daba rahe ho ya you know future time lash out ho raha there's no understanding supporting your sahan shakti that sahan shakti is not recommended by shastra sahan shakti means titiksha means your capacity to forbear will automatically be there when you understand its value why is it natural for the guru not to react because he saw it as a net practice i call it net practices we always have some people in the world around us who give us net practice of something or the other so we have enough if your goal in life is adhyatmik jeevan mein pragati karna to move a step closer to your own self then the, there are a lot of net practices in the world everyday life is a net practice for such a person so for him he knew that this person is holding me because of whom i am able to come closer to myself so what does he have for the cook sama bhav as he has for shishya he has for the cook from his drishti it is not just sama bhav for sukh and dukh maan and apman his samabhav is also from where it is coming it is samata why because titiksha matures the mind some people call it the quality of endurance itself is a good enough word the capacity to bear Especially what is not pleasant, 
but even what is pleasant because if you allow your mind to indulge in it it will become mohit at some point so this panditaha that bhagwan has started telling us he kind of concludes it over here dheeraha such a one who is a dheeraha what is his benefit amritatvaya kalpate a mrita mrita means dead amrit means immortal kalpate he gains the qualification for samartha samarthaha for moksha amritatvaya amritatvam moksha sthiti what is that amritam something that doesn't change freedom from samsara moksha this moksha he is now in um, he's got qualified for that so if my quality of titiksha and alike is not connected to my gati spiritual gati if whatever i practice for my inner growth self development self growth whatever words you want to use if it is not connected to what was i saying what is the word i just said gati gati to gati to gati to your spiritual gati if it is not connected to your what is your aspiration to live these values what is your motivation to to engage in this value if the tiksha is not related to a spiritual aspiration then the tiksha will become a burden wo apne aap mein ek sansar ka karan ban jayega in fact it's not called the tiksha then wo sehna ही कोई सहना है वो सहना भी कोई सहना है एड बट वेन यू हैव द कॉग्निशन दैट दिस इज नेट प्रैक्टिस दिस पर्सन इज गिविंग मी एन ऑपरचुनिटी फॉर अ नेट प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज दीज वैल्यूज आई लैक and if i get a chance to develop them i am empowering myself it's doing me good i am maturing myself i need the practice everybody needs it i am i am aware that i need it i am committed to my wanting to be living them one more thing it may not last all along yes so they will these values will keep changing sometimes one value sometimes another value sometimes you think you've developed enough and then you give it up after some time you realize oh i still need them uh, these are okay as long as the majority of the the values are held in place kalpate as he says here in the bhashyam is equal to samarthah samarthyam it's not kalpana kalpate samarthata becoming fit samartha fit for moksha mokshaya fit for moksha it's like what is the literal meaning of kalpate kalpdhatu ka kya arth hota hai kalpana no no here because the contextual meaning is samartha if you take the literal meaning there can all dhatus can have uh, different meanings in different contexts you can create more words out of them so here the the same word may be taken by another commentator to mean something else that is how different commentaries would come up so sam samarthah 
samarthyam means now there's a thought flow pratiksha is related to what to your gain of amritatvam uske samarthyam ke liye that means if i don't okay extrapolate it if i don't have pratiksha then what is immediate then i go up and down with the ups and downs so what do i don't have then i don't have the capacity to forbear and i don't have the capacity for uh, i don't have developed which ke liye jo maturity chahiye wo samarthyam hi nahi hai to where am i where am i talking about moksha atma vidya kyun So if I say I must say I want Atma Vidya, but I have no Titiksha, and Titiksha is you can extrapolate further is an upalakshana for all other Shama Dama Adi Shataka Sampatti. So you need the Viveka, you need the Viragyam qualification. Yes, you need the Shama Dama Adi, and Titiksha was one of them. But here, what does he say? He says that Titiksha. will allow the mind to become sthir sthirtana that is why at the end of the chapter he is going to talk of sthir pragnya the one whose knowledge has become sthir so ya dimantam na cha nitya atma darshanat ete yathokta shito shadya sah nit आत्मा स्वरूप दर्शन निष्ठ इधर ही हैज अ डायरेक्ट नॉलेज ऑफ आत्मज्ञान और ही नोज वाई प्रतीक्षा हेल्प्स मी फॉर आत्मज्ञान उस स्वरूप नित्य आत्मा स्वरूप निष्ठ देर फॉर द्वंद्व सहिष्णु हो देर फॉर ही कैन पुट अप विद द पेयर्स ऑफ ऑपोजिट मान अपमान हानि लाभ एक्सेट्रा सो लाइफ विल थ्रो इट्स ओन चैलेंजेस विल ब्रिंग एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ डिफरेंट नेचर्स बट इफ द गोल इज सेट हाउ मच क्लोजर कैन आई गेट इन अ लाइफ टाइम टू माई ओन स्वरूप देन द आउटलुक चेंजेस टूवर्ड्स एक्सपीरियंसेस and here we get a direct application for life immediate application tan stitikshasva o bharata okay so i think the verses are all covered let us just quickly go through ashochya nanva shochastvam प्रज्ञावादांश भाष्य से यू आर ग्रीविंग फॉर दोज हू डोंट डिजर्व ग्रीफ एंड यू टॉक लाइक वन हू इज अ वाइज पर्सन द वाइज वन गता सून अगता सून च न अनुशोचंती द वाइज वन डज नॉट ग्रीव फॉर द लिविंग और द डेड न तू एव अहम जातु नेवर वॉज आई नॉट देर न आसम ऑलवेज वॉज देर न थम नॉट दैट यू वर नेवर देर न आसम यू वर ऑलवेज देर न इमे जनाधिपा नॉट दैट ऑल दीज किंग्स विल नॉट बी ऑलवेज देर ऑलवेज देर न चाव न भविष्याम ऑल्सो नॉट दैट इन द फ्यूचर we all will not be there sarve vayamatah param we are always always there who is that we that we is the atma drishti what is that atma drishti he says tehinah asmin yatha dehe just as in this body tehinah the one who is embodied goes through kaumaram yavanam jara कुमार अवस्था यौवन अवस्था जरा अवस्था ओल्ड एज तथा इन द सेम वे 
when you get a new body, when you give up this and get a new body, tatra dhiraha na muhyati. The panditaha who is a dhiraha, he does not grieve. In this knowledge when he has, when he has accepted the reality of life. Then what happens? All this that contact based, we are doing it in details two days now. Matras prashaha to come there. They will only result in senses Experience will only bring about sheet, the ushna, heat and cold and other pairs of opposites which conclude in only sukha and dukha. They keep changing themselves, replacing each other. Sometimes one gives pleasure, sometimes it doesn't give pleasure. Sometimes my mind changes. I liked it before, I don't like it now. And sometimes the situation changes that even if I liked it, the situation doesn't present it to me any further. So there can be changes at any level. The contact object can change, my mind can change, the entire situation can change anything. And therefore, understand that life means a series of experiences which is nothing but subject to change. Agama, apainaha. What has come will go. That is a point of reflection. What all do we bring in it? What has come will go. Anitya. They are all Anitya therefore. So whatever you are able to conclude as Anitya, to that you must have Titikshaswa O Bharata. Your understanding should be this is Anitya, therefore I forbear it. How long is the cook going to be there with him? So it's not an everlasting long, but then a person is depressed. When a person is uh, sitting in Vishad, it looks like an endless dark tunnel. That is a sign of knowing that you are objective. That you are not, you have got some samatha, some buddhi available. So, yam hina vyatha yam tiete. Purusham Purusha Shabha, oh best among men Purusha, bull amongst men, oh Arjuna. In this, those who do not get flustered, who do not get agitated and remain summer, equanimous, equanimous with reference to Sukh and Dukh that life offers. Those Dhiraha, they are the ones who are Dhira. Saha Amritatvaya Kalpate. They open the qualification for Amritatvam. So, O Arjuna, now connected to his situation, this is like one set of verses complete. Arjuna sitting the way he was, one has told him, you are showing complete opposite symptoms, signs of knowledge. The wise person truly is one who has this Atma Vidya. And what is the benefit of that Atma Vidya? What will help you in doing what you are supposed to do now? And then he comes to the next verse. And this verse is extremely important. It is kind of a one of the gems of Bhagavad Gita and uh, preferably these set of verses can be memorized because they are very very important and this verse has a lot of importance. Now he said in the previous verse Amritatvam you get qualified for. What is that Amritam? That comes in this verse. So, uh, Neetuji, would you like to chant after me? Yes. Yes. Nasato vidyate bhavaha. Nasato vidyate bhavaha. Na bhavo vidyate sataha. Na bhavo vidyate sataha 
ಉಭಯೋರಿ ದೃಷ್ಟೋಂತ ಉಭಯೋರಿ ದೃಷ್ಟೋಂತ ವನಯೋಸ್ತದರ್ಶಿ ತ್ವನಯೋಸ್ತದರ್ಶಿ ಉಭಯೋರಿ ದೃಷ್ಟೋಂತಯೋಸ್ತದರ್ಶಿ ಉಭಯೋರಿ ದೃಷ್ಟೋಂತಯೋಸ್ತದರ್ಶಿ ಉಭಯೋರಿ ದೃಷ್ಟೋಂತ ಉಭಯೋಪಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಡನ್ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಬಿ ಫಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸತ್ even in tattva both we did it tat and asat tat means ever there trikale tishthati api sat nitya tat is nitya is in terms of time always there tat is in terms of existence always existent so they are always together nitya is sat satya is nitya na asatah vidyate bhavah what is asat opposite of sat if sat is always there what is asat never changing there. no asat is never there aini what is sat ever there what is asat never never there it can never have existence it doesn't have existence na vidyate not there asat if there is something what is asat <coughs> then it can never ever have a bhava can never come into being jo hai hi nahi wo ho nahi sakta simple term what is not ever there can never come to be example in shastra is horns on a man's head or a rabbit's head a man having horns <laughs> can it be possible ever why because it is never there it has never been there it will never be there na asataha vidyate bhavah so what is never into existence can never come into existence which has never had existence can never come into existence जो है ही नहीं वो हो नहीं सकता न अभाव विद्यते सतह 
or and what has been there can never have non existence uska abhav nahi ho sakta it cannot be suddenly <coughs> not there so notice the word bhavah and abhavah bhavah means having an expression not the emotion wala bhav hindi mein bhavah means coming into being expression of existence what can have an existence expression of existence something that always was there alone can have an expression of existence if there was nothing there before then you cannot have something coming from it like for example according to sri charvak drishti there is no continuity of life the bhav of life has come from where from the five elements that brought up the body because of which the out product is the expression of life has come as a by product means ye pehle tha hi nahi it came because of the combination of five elements what is vedanta saying jo pehle kabhi tha hi nahi wo ab aa bhi nahi sakta it cannot have a presence it cannot have a manifestation it will not have an existential expression of existence ubhayoh api drishtah antah antah means the final truth like ved antah the final topic vedo ka final topic is vedanta drishta antah those who see the final thing ubhayo ho api the truth of these two statements those tatva darsh bhi know this they know the truth of these statements tatva knowers of truth they know this since i said this is a little now you can feel the gear change ana thoda thoda going above no because not totally above this one I, i didn't understand it <laughs> yeah i couldn't understand it all this one yeah. i didn't understand ha so we have just started this this verse like i said this is now vedantic crux so it will take some time to explain so don't get impatient about it first is just a normal hearing of the verse meaning the explanations will follow maybe next week we will do i won't go into this today in details we'll start with a fresh mind next week at this point all he is saying is asataha avidyamanah jo hai nahi whatever is not ever there cannot come into being and what is ever there cannot go out of being is that sentence better what is never there cannot come into being to kya nahi ho sakta 
So can you tell us what is never there? Like ah, that's can, what can... I'm going to uh, follow the words and see where we are, lead ourselves to. What is never there can never come into being. What does it imply? What will not be there then? Anatma, like in Sattva Bodhi said, Anatma. So Anatma will never be there. Okay. The so whole thing. Sorry? The whole creation, whatever we see, right. I mean, apart from everything that we perceive. Correct. Jo hai nahi, wo hoga nahi, aa nahi sakta. Direct. So, so rope and snake. Okay, that that is the third. Yeah. I mean, thing, which is so Yeah, rope and snake. Maybe. That is the third thing that Mithya Darshan. That is, we'll come to that third point later. Jo hai nahi, wo, wo aaya nahi, aayega nahi. So, correct. The whole creation. One word would be? Samsar. Samsar. Okay. It has come into being. What do you feel has come into being? Me. Huh? Life. Life. So, what is it that has come? In it has life? always been. The Atma has always been. Correct. So, what we have chalang laga di. This was what has not been there, what is always there, will come into being. Okay, let's put it. So, what has come into being? Your body. Sense of individual body. Which means birth. Where has birth come from? Has From it come the... from something which was never there? Oh, it's come from the five elements. No, that is body has come from the five elements. Birth. Birth, birth has happened because Atma is there. So, understand only what has, see the principle, what was always there only can come into being. Jo hai, vahi sirf a sakta hai, ho sakta hai. So, agar aapko abhi janam dikh raha hai, that means ye hai, isliye dikh raha hai. If the horns on my head Correct. Birth can happen only if there is something. Absolutely. If the horns on my head, will they appear tomorrow? Aa sakte na kar? Kyo nahi aa sakte? Achha chalo, agle saal. Let's say next year, Dipti ji's developed horns on her head. Can they... Can you think of it ever? Ki wo aasak, kaha se aasakte hain? Agar ho to aasakte hain. Agar kabhi the hi nahi to aa kaha se sakte hain. So what is birth? Jo hai is now in seen as expression of ona. और जो है इसमें वो कभी अभाव में नहीं जाता इट कैन नेवर एवर डिसअपियर उसका अभाव नहीं है तो व्हाट इज दैट नेगेट लाइक दे मे लुक लाइक दे डाइंग बट दे नेवर गोइंग टू गो अवे सो इट हैज नेगेटेड डेथ जो है उसका अभाव नहीं होगा और जो है वो हा इसलिए है नाउ इज इट अ लिटल बेटर वॉट वॉज देयर इज नाउ सीन एज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लाइफ एंड वॉट इज ऑलवेज देयर 
can never go into non existence to death hai hi nahi what is there cannot have non existence non existence word would be obviously a little tricky it abhav nahi hai means it can never go into state of negation death is not a state of negation it is not a state of the end ubhayo ho api that the truth of these two statements those who see the final truth they know therefore come back to 11th verse therefore they do not grieve for their so this goes into clinching the topic from the shastrik angle and the explanation here is very uh, in depth involves some nyaya terms also in it the nyaya darshan ke through they have tried to explain what is sat what is asat what is bhava roop what is abhava roop so the example that probably would be yes asat uh, where the discussion supposing is you see a pot where has the pot come from meet the existence of pot where has the existence of pot that you see in front of you where has the existence of pot come from mud from clay mud the mud was existent so the vikar of mud is now pot therefore before the pot it was existent in the form of clay but it had to be there naam roop uska alag ho gaya magar hai agar hai nahi to aaj ye ho nahi sakta dipti ji this is like a form this is like saying energy up. can neither be created nor be destroyed this is subtler than energy <laughs> yeah because energy yeah. maybe you may take it as an example to convey but energy is not the absolute truth it's not the life principle running through everything so but to convey yeah okay it can neither be uh, correct in a way neither be created nor be destroyed principle of matter rather matter can neither be created nor be destroyed so that is fine but here this is not matter alone so when the pot is destroyed what happens it merges with the space what merges with the space be very careful uh, what merges this say this is a pot the space the space ah. inside the pot and space merges with the space but when the pot is broken what happened the space merged with the total space okay fine it's but when the again. pot broke sorry it's clay again it the merges mud. into the clay it's clay again it's clay again from the pot standpoint pot came because of clay existence of clay before pot is now seen when the pot is destroyed it goes back to clay now the question is why you see a pot what is it it clay disappear in the pot while you see a pot what is it 
इट इज स्टिल क्ले बट लुक्स लाइक अ पॉट there is an aakar of pot there is a shape of pot there is a utility of pot there is a function of the pot but that utility of the pot name of pot aakar of pot form of pot color of pot use of pot is that nitya vastu no was that pot nityam no what is nityam in that pot that you are experiencing yes clay and what is that nature of clay before it existed after it will exist and while it is pot also it exists trikale tishthati it is existent in all the three states what are the three states before creation of the pot while it is manifested as the pot and after the destruction of the pot trikale api tishthati what is actually there is only clay you and me with our names and forms and our age and our gender and our ideas and our vyavhar and our different personalities and all this we are all pots now while we are pot what are we that which was before which will continue later which is also now here that nitya vastu is atma therefore you cannot have the presence of a pot from no nothing and if the pot is there then it will not disappear into nothing a pot cannot disappear into thin air on destruction dai ho gaya sab kuch what is broken but what are your senses contacting now clay it's only the name and form broke so when chahiya pe leta jiska jeev nikal gaya kya nikla नाम रूप अलग हो गया उसका सिर्फ नाम रूप अलग हुआ वॉट वॉज देर बिफोर ड्यूरिंग आफ्टर नीदर हैज डिसअपियरेंस नॉर हैज बर्थ नॉर हैज डेथ नॉ विल बी नॉन एग्जिस्टिंग टूमोरो इट एवर इज this we will continue needs a little holding on next two verses are a little terse because now this is siddhant siddhant means siddh karta hai kisi starting pratigya ko that the wise does not grieve he said atma nitya hai what do you mean by atma nitya hai the reason how is it that the person who knows gains amritatva the reason because the knower knows this nitya swabhav and what is the reason for it common sense as far as when it's told to us then it becomes common sense through the help of the example without that ghata example it becomes difficult to pick it up So, ubhayo ho api refers to both the things, the truth of both the things. Yes. So, what is contacted now is just a nama roop, the truth, 
is free of this nama roop truth is that atma swabhav of your own self nitya swabhav of your own being wo na janam hua hai na marti hai nama roop ka janam hua hai nama roop marti hai शरीर का जन्म हुआ है शरीर मरता है मैं का जन्म नहीं है मैं मरती नहीं हूं और ये मैं इज टू बी डिसर्न फ्रॉम नाम रूप मैं इज आत्मा तत्वदर्शी इज वन हु सीज दैट एवर एग्जिस्टेंट प्रिंसिपल Through all the changes, so even when you see a ghatta, he knows this is clay. इतनी शांति I have never seen in a class. <laughs> a clear sign, but that's why it is important. very soon you will importance of it yes can we end it neetu ji okay sarvesham swastir bhavatu sarvesham shantir bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu मंगल सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामय सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंतु मा कचि दुख भागवे ओं शाति 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 If forgetting to bring the right, it is bhag bhavet. And Ramaha bhag bhavet. Sarve bhavantu sukhi na ha. Then sarve santu niramaya ha. Niramaya ha. Niramaya ha. सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कचि दुख भाग वे भाग भवे भाग भवे ओके आई थिंक आई शुड गूगल एंड चेक इट आउट आई विल ब्रिंग द स्लाइड नेक्स्ट टाइम आई डोंट नो ओके या सॉरी सॉरी अबाउट दैट नो नो नॉट एट ऑल आई वाज बीइंग मीनिंग टू से इट बट today i realized that if i don't correct then it will again become a habit before the habit gets strong i should make the correction okay everyone okay. So thank you so much thank you everyone thank you so much thank you deeply thank you thank you thank you thank you deeply 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 thank you deeply